if things were right, women would have more saying, more power than the, our male counterparts. But that's not the case. The reason is, is because we are being socialized in a manner that puts women in a second ladder, mm -hmm. second position. Mm -hmm. Now, you, all of you have gone through the campaigns. You know how social issues comes in your campaigns. Mm -hmm. Every time you go to campaign, uh, first of all, they want to know whether you are married mm -hmm. or not. And if you are married, and if you are, and if you are married, where? Is she married? Mm -hmm. And therefore, or to who are they married to? Mm -hmm. And and therefore, those issues come in. And most of the time, we men do not marry in their own homes where they were born. You go outside to seek mm -hmm. your spouse. Mm -hmm. And all the time, you are told that you don't belong here. You are competing with somebody who has lived in that village all his life. And you just come in afresh but you'd realize that you belong now to that village or to that home or that area. But still, you'll notice that some of the women who have been elected, they've been elected back where they were born, mm -hmm. not where they are married. Mm -hmm. But this is something that we want to close so that you can be elected anywhere. So long as you're a good leader, it doesn't matter where you are coming from. So that is one of the things that have affected us. That's why they're not there. That's why we'd like this bill to go through. The other thing that has made it possible for us is the nature of the campaign. Campaigns in Kenya are very violent. Violent physically, violent verbally. Uh, we get a lot of insults during the campaign, and women cannot stand that kind of thing. Now, until campaigns are changed so that we campaign on issues, issue-based campaigns, we cannot compete fairly with the people who are very quick to send bad messages and people who are very quick even to physically assault those women. You saw last campaigns. How many women would like to go to be beaten in the streets and other areas during the campaign? We don't want that, and that's why this is sidelined towards the women. Now, there's also the issue of commercialization of campaigns. A lot of money is thrown in there. A woman with money, first of all, they'll think about their home, their children. Um, very rarely you'll find women dishing out money so that they can be voted for. One thing, they got better use of their money than to dish it out. And so long as that is the issue, this one also puts us on the other side. And then there's also other issues. For example, in Africa, Kenya is quite advanced in many ways. And economically, I think we are better off when it comes to issues of uh, education. Uh, we have more educated women than other countries in Africa. But when it comes to leadership, we fall below par. Surely, we don't want to be the worst in Africa, or the worst in eastern part of Africa. We must, if we want to take the leading role, let's take the re leading role in every aspect of life. And therefore, I would really appeal, I would really appeal to uh, parliamentarians who are going to debate and who are going to vote for this bill, to vote in, to pass, this bill. This bill will make a difference in our lives. And when I talk our lives, I mean Kenyan people, not women only, not men only, not only parliamentarians, but other people. And we have seen the women who have been nominated. Uh, they can be nominated one term, and the next time they vie for those positions because they develop confidence, they know how to do it. Uh, they know how to, to to present their cases, their issues, and next time, maybe they'll not be nominated. And if things go well, and as ladies or as women, women will have to reorganize ourselves once again. Uh, those organ women organizations that we used to have, 
like the League of Kenya Women Voters, which was actually working for the enhancement of women in politics. Um, we need to revive them. We need to revive them so that they can be, once again, we can be able to, to learn, even up to grassroots level, that we are not, cannot just be used as instruments of voting, but we can also be used as leaders, we can also become leaders. Our role should not be limited to voting only, but be voted also. And um, I hope and I appeal to the parliamentarians who are going to vote this afternoon that do the needful and women will be proud of you. Remember your mother needs that encouragement, your wife, your daughter, your grandmother, your granddaughter, and the generation around you, your aunties, the generation around you is looking up to you to see how you fare and how you handle this case. You are not handling it for yourself, but you are handling it for the people of Kenya. So with these few remarks, I hope that this bill will go through, and I'm sure it will go through. I'm sure it will go through. I don't see anything else that can stop it from going through. This bill is for Kenyans, not for women. Mama, when this bill passes, mm. what it actually does, remember the evolution, the evolution has also brought with it village councils. Mm. Now those are positions that are mm. going to be filled. Mm. If this bill passes, mm. it also opens, because it discusses appointed mm. and elected mm. positions. Mm. Now right down in the rural area, both genders will have an opportunity to participate in decision making right at the village level mm. through the village councils. Yes. But this bill is what will uh, ensure mm. that at each level yeah. and at each segment mm. there is one third of either gender. Exactly. Yeah? So exactly. Mm. It will it will go cut across mm -hmm. all sectors yes. in our society. Mm -hmm. It is not only parliamentarians yes. and and Senate mm. and, and, and MCAs. No, it will cut across. Yes. It, will. it will cut across. Appointments as well. Appointments and, yeah. Mm. It will cut across. Yeah. How come we go to the same schools? We go to the same universities. Mm. We do the same exams. We, we pass equally. And when it comes now to application, then you are told you are a woman. You cannot mm. do this. Mm. No. We are equally good. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. So thank you so much. We truly appreciate, and we know that this is going to take us a very long way, mm. and it will. Uh